Donald Trump spoke at a Christian conference at the weekend making this promise. Christians get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years, you know what? It'll be fixed, it'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good, you're not going to have to vote. Now, Brad, the left-wing media are making out like Trump was promising to go full dictator, but that's not what we, he was really saying here, was it? No, he was just speaking in his typical Trumpian f style, which honestly, I can't help but laugh a little bit <laughs> listening to it. He's just such a unique individual. He's trying to drive out the vote this November. He's telling them that he'll fix everything. And then who cares if you if, four years from now, if you have to vote or not, just vote this November. Like the most obvious explanation is the most likely explanation, which is just that he's trying to drive up votes this November, and he's saying, you know, frankly, I don't think he'll care very much because Donald Trump cares a lot about, well, Donald Trump. So he's like, vote this time, get me back in, and then four years from now, you won't have to worry about it. I'll have fixed everything. I'm amazing. I think the slightly egocentric explanation for his comments is the most likely one, not that he's accidentally revealed some plan to become a dictator and shut down the elections <laughs> in four years or anything like that, which... Frankly, he couldn't do even if he wanted to. And I think it's a total stretch and overreading of these remarks. And Trump says plenty of things that they could go after him for. They need to stop making stuff up and going him af going after him for things he never said. It's really exhausting. They've been doing this for almost a decade at this point. Well, Brad, it's always good to catch up. We really appreciate your time. And we'll uh, talk to you again next Sunday. Thanks, guys.